Hey YouTube, it is Margaret. I am coming at you today for my, and I just looked. I keep thinking one of these days I'm actually going to do this prepared. Week 13 update from VSG Surgery, which I had on September 3rd, 2014 in Birmingham, Alabama with Dr. Lee Schmidt. My pre-op diet weight, which was, I only did one week pre-op, so my one week before surgery was 266, and that was also my highest weight. My day of surgery, I was 255.4, and two weeks ago, because I was on vacation last week, so two weeks ago, I was at 221.8, and this morning, I was at 219.4, which is a 2.4 pound loss since two weeks from my last weigh-in, and a total loss of 46.6 pounds. Um, and my, like, internal little mental goal, I really wanted to be at 50 pounds um, this week, but I had was on vacation for 10 days in which I, um, other than just the restriction of not being able to eat much, I, that was really the only thing um, that I did. So the whole time I was on vacation, I pretty much, pretty much ate whatever I wanted. Now, I tried to eat protein first, but like we were at theme parks the majority of the time. So like at lunch, my options were like pizza or cheeseburger and um, we were on meal plans. So um, it wasn't like I was wasting. I mean, it was pay the food was already paid for. So like I would get like the cheeseburger plate with fries and I would eat, I would take the bun off and eat like three bites of the patty and like two french fries and I would be full. Um, so, I didn't eat healthy, but in the whole scheme of things, I really couldn't eat enough to probably amount to anything. Um, and then at night, like, everybody wanted to do, like, dessert. Oh, and every, every meal always came with dessert, too, which I never, I never ate. Like, I was so full by the time dessert came around that I couldn't eat it, even if I wanted it. So, and every night, um... Everybody wanted dessert, and I usually was full and um, couldn't do it. There was a couple nights that we had alcohol. Um, we went to a Mexican restaurant one night, and I had a margarita. Although I'm trying to think. I don't think I finished it all. I think my husband helped me finish it. Um, one night we went to Fat Tuesdays and got a drink. Um... And that was really the only night, I think that might have been the first time that I had alcohol on vacation. And um, I, I got pretty drunk off of it, but it didn't last long. Um, and I couldn't drink the whole thing. Um, so it didn't make me sick. Although, you know what, I did have a headache the next morning. Um, and I chalked it up to being uncomfortable sleeping, but it could have very well been alcohol. Um, we walked a ton, um, a ton, a ton, like anywhere from six to eight miles a day. Um, what else? I mean, I really just enjoyed the vacation. I, I tried really not to think about it. Uh, the people we were with didn't know that I had had surgery. I never, I never came up and I kept thinking the whole time they were going to be like, why are you not eating? Are you not hungry? And it never came up and they never asked so I never told but so I mean it worked out I mean I didn't have to order any special foods I didn't um, I mean I you know I enjoyed vacation I fit in every ride I got on I didn't have to worry about if I was gonna fit um, I was pretty confident that I that I would and I did um, so I didn't have to worry about that and, you know, it just, uh, I was surprised that I was able to walk as much as we did and I was not tired because one of the things that has been holding me back from going to the gym is that I feel like at only getting 800 to 1,000 calories a day that I am not taking in enough calories to go burn a bunch of calories working out. Um, I've kind of used that as an internal excuse 
and not a very good one and probably shouldn't be so I was glad to see that I was able to do all the walking and um, didn't bother me at all um, so I just need to get my butt to the gym and my work um, actually this Friday they are I think they're signing up the whole office for a gym membership so I really will have no excuse then <laughs> um, so that is my next goal is to get on to that next Monday is my three month appointment with my doctor so next week I'll have an update on how that went and what all they checked and what he said um, I have a feeling that I'm probably in my mind I'm behind on weight loss from what I feel like I should have just again I'm basing on other people's numbers uh, I know everybody's journey is the same and I probably shouldn't compare myself to others but you do and I feel like I really thought that I would have lost 50 to even 60 pounds by now and I'm at 46 and really only 36 since surgery so um, but you know, you just kind of take it a day and a day, and you do what you got to do. I, um, sorry, I had a phone call. I need to get back on track now that I'm back from vacation, taking my vitamins. Aaron, I need you to start texting me <laughs> because I took them on vacation, and I took them the first night of vacation. And I have not taken them since. And I've been back from vacation since Sunday. And it's Wednesday. But I'm going to go take them as soon as I finish this video. So tonight, I'll take them. Um, I was going to go over a couple other things. But this has kind of lo ran longer than I was going to talk about that. And I have dinner that's almost ready. So I guess I'll save those from next week. I was going to kind of talk about things that I've learned um, because I know when I was pre-op and I was watching people's videos, um, I'm going to just kind of talk about some things that I've learned, some things that I thought would have happened that haven't happened, and kind of what I'm eating and how much I'm eating at this point. Um, so I'll do that next week. So, and I might even make an extra video this week and do that, but I'm not promising anything. If not, it'll be on next week. So, anyways, I'll talk to you later. Bye.